your first alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Brad Travis. Oh, we've got nice weather out there for a majority of us, but we still have some thunderstorms and we still may see a few storms through about two o'clock in the morning. I'll show you the latest in just a second. A bit hazy out there. 74 right now in Huntsville on our fly breeze camera network. The showers and storms are just across the state line up here along Highway 64. As you go from Fayetteville East north of Chattanooga, still a severe thunderstorm warning in effect for that storm. And that's where all this lightning is coming from that you see off in the distance. In fact, there's a new thunderstorm up here. Uh, this is producing more lightning, so we've had it kind of clustering up here in and around Chattanooga. Uh, northeast of Winchester, northeast of Thames Ford Lake, bit of a wind gust coming through on an outflow boundary too, and that's what could trigger some more isolated showers and thunderstorms as we go later into the evening hours. In fact, later into the overnight hours, I should say, because we're talking probably through two o'clock in the morning. So some much needed rain in a few areas. Still very rain cooled here from Haleyville to Russellville, where we had some storms with hail earlier today. Day. A lot of lightning and very heavy rain. Uh, some isolated hail reports elsewhere as well with some of these stronger storms we had earlier in the day. But notice we're still in the mid to upper 70s uh, here in far north Alabama, right across the state line. So that's the area most likely to see some showers and thunderstorms as we go uh, on into the overnight hours. So here's 11 o'clock tonight. Notice the increase in activity up here uh, just in and around the Hazel Green area. Also in the northern Jackson County, in and around Athens, Harvest Monrovia. These could fire up even out towards Florence as we see just an isolated chance for showers and storms that will last through about 2 o'clock in the morning, not expecting them to become severe. And you're, most of you are going to be inside during the overnight hours, so no big threat there. Uh, but could wake up in the middle of the night, could get the dogs up in the middle of the night, but shouldn't be a terrible situation developing tonight. As far as tomorrow goes, we start off with a little bit of fog, and then we warm up quickly, close to 90 degrees once again tomorrow afternoon as we get towards 2 three o'clock in the afternoon. Here we go with these scattered showers and thunderstorms from Russellville to Phil Campbell again on Highway 43 over here towards Arab, Eva, uh, Decatur to Hartsell down to Falkville as well. And just about anywhere could see these isolated storms you see by six o'clock uh, kind of threatening areas from Athens through Harvest, Monrovia, Madison and Huntsville. And once again out in northwest Alabama, those will fade away during the overnight hours. So as far as trying to get the yard work done or maybe you're mowing for a living out there. Uh, we've got fair conditions tomorrow afternoon and then Thursday afternoon. Those are our two bigger days for scattered showers and pretty much more numerous thunderstorms. And then we get a nice break here. So take a look at your 10 day forecast. Friday and Saturday look really nice. But Sunday and Monday, I do expect some changes with those showers and storms, and I do expect a lot more coverage out there as we'll see a boundary coming in. And then we kind of get back to the pattern we're in now, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday of next week as well. Trash Pan is back in town tomorrow, and we've got soccer coming up Sunday, uh, weather permitting, of course, right? If you get lightning out there, we'll right. have to watch out for that. But again, that's several days out. And I never thought I'd be wanting a downpour. I know. It is now, so I've got some cracks steamy. in my yard going on right now, too. So We need it. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm kind of holding off because I just don't want to mow the yard that much. <laughs> I hear you on <laughs> that one. That's what my wife was saying. Today. She goes, well, if you don't, you don't get as much rain, there you, you just go. don't have to mow as much. There is an upside. Yep.